Hello and welcome to Qatar for my F123 Lamborghini Mighty and Great Mode. Here today for part 44 and our second sprint weekend of the season here in Qatar. So we've done qualifying, the grid then ahead of the Qatar sprint. It's a Mercedes 1-2 headed up by Lewis Hamilton. Oscar Piastri's put uh, his Lamborghini second alongside Pierre Gasly, then it's us and Alonso, Verstappen and Lando, Stroll and Sainz, Sonoda and Leclerc, Ocon and Bottas, Fittipaldi and Joe, Albon and Kevin Magnussen, Lawson and Nick De Vries, and on the final row is Dennis Holger and Logan Sargent. So we're here on the grid now then, we're gonna be doing the mediums all the way, all 10 laps. This is our qualifying lap then, that was only good enough for P5, we didn't improve on our final run, so that first run was all we had, but let's go then couldn't do the Qatar sprint, we need some points and we are racing here in the Qatar sprint, we've got a good start, so is Oscar Piastri, we're on the grass, but most importantly we're in the lead as we go side by side with our teammate through the first corner, now into the second corner, Piastri trying to keep around the outside of us, but if we run a little bit wide, but did wheel in the gravel, and Piastri now tries to go back up our inside. We really need the points. We've got the start we dreamt of. Fifth to first. Shocker for Mercedes. They've both gone backwards then. And it's a Lamborghini. 1 2 on the opening lap. Towards the end of that lap, though. Here comes Piastri trying to go to our outside into the final corner. We really, really need the points. So if Oscar could play the team game and let me win that would be appreciated but now because we forced him wide he's coming into pressure from Lewis Hamilton Hamilton's up the inside Hamilton's got the job done I think so briefly but Piastri keeps his foot in round the outside now as the inside and it's job done for Piastri say P2 as pulling off and out of the race is the Alfa Tauri Vincent Fittipaldi, they have Liam Lawson. That is. As now we run a bit wide, we run wide in the final corner. And Piastri's foot again, there's nearly contact. Nearly going to the side of our teammate now. We're in the tyre tracks. We can go back to the outside, break later, and sail around the outside of our teammate. And we keep the lead of the sprint. We really need these 8 points in terms of the championship with 52 points behind. But down here, back down the inside, there's Piastri, we hold around the outside. I think George is still behind his teammate, which is helping us out a little bit. So as we skip on towards the end of lap 3 now, through the final couple of corners, Piastri has the line once again. And he's going down the inside of the final corner. We try and cut it back. And Lewis Hamilton had a look up the inside. We've tagged the Mercedes. He's gone into the side of us, but somehow it's still P2. This time they were a bit too far back from Oscar Piastri as the Red Bull of Max Verstappen has found his way past both Mercedes. Gasly's trying to do the same. But Piastri got away, and now we were left defending. Max Verstappen into turn one and Gasly's over to both of the Mercedes and they've dropped back massively as this is Joe in his McLaren not having the best sprints and now he's out of it as he's slowing down something is wrong with his McLaren and his night in Qatar is over and that's going to give him a very very long Sunday as he finds somewhere to park up and you've got to go to Asda to find a car park around there there's now Max Verstappen's on the back of us and he is ahead of us now as we head down the pitch straight once again we're going to try and hold the line to the outside but Max is through now I think that's job done for him, but we're sticking with him through this first sector. Any opportunity we get, we're going to go for it. And we are going to go for it down the inside into that right-hander. 
they keep Max behind. But you actually know, you can see the gap is free. Seconds up the road, long way up the road, Max is back past this. The Mercedes of George Russell is past. Pierre Gasly, where's going wheel to wheel with the Stappen? They keep Max behind once again, he's getting frustrated in that Red Bull. As he's trying to get us down the inside where we overtook him, we make sure he has to back out of that one, give him a little nudge. But on to the end of lap 10, Oscar Piastri rounds the final corner. He did it in real life, he wins the Qatar Sprint Race. Well done to Piastri, we're going to come home to stay P2, it's going to be a front row lockout for us as Piastri backed up big time and we nearly beat him. So that's been the sprint, so this is the result then, it's going to be a 1-2 for us on Sunday. Max Verstappen 3rd, George 4th, Hamilton dropping all the way down from pole, only picking up 2 points in the sprint which is helping us a little bit also with that result for us in terms of the constructors as well. We've got a long race ahead of us, if we can re-overtake Piastri, maybe we'll have more pace in the race than we have showed here in the sprint. As you just saw, here's a front row lockout for us headed by Piastri, then it's Verstappen and George, Gasly and Stroll, Hamilton and Bottas, Alonso and Lando, Sainz and Sonoda, Fittipaldi and Albon, Magnussen and De Vries, Halga and Logan Sargent, Leclerc with a penalty, Ockham with a penalty, and then there's the two retirements from the sprint in Joe and Lawson. We're still in with a chance of winning this title. We need you to push as hard as you can in the five remaining races. So Mark knows what we need to do, we need to go flat out, the ideal situation is that we win tonight in Qatar, the gap now 50 points up after that sprint race, but there's still two race wins essentially if you take out the fastest lap, but in terms of strategy we're starting on the soft going to the medium, the usual one stopper as it always seems to be on this game, but then it's time for the five red lights and we're racing in Qatar, we've got another excellent start while right within the spring we're back into the lead we've jumped Piastri into turn one, Gasly jumped Max Verstappen further back but most importantly we lead the spring, we run a little bit wide though as Piastri, Piastri's got an unbelievable exit off that corner but he's just a little bit too far back to have a look down our inside there to the end of lap one now Piastri coming up as though as Gasly is still P P3 Max has dropped back round the outside we try and keep it pinned round the outside of our teammate it's just like it was in the sprint this is very much hard but fair racing the first time we've really gone wheel to wheel with our teammate and kept it clean down the inside goes Piastri, we keep it to the outside and what is this doing is allowing those behind back in if this is at any other stage of the season we, we should really be letting Piastri go but I really really want to win this and really need to win this in terms of the championship Piastri tries to overtake us again we keep him behind us now quite a long train behind us as Piastri gets an excellent exit off that corner like he did at the end of the, of the first lap but he stays behind us for now the Mercedes dropped back, George has now dropped all the way back to P7 as now this is Liam Lawson slowing down and just like the sprint race Liam Lawson retires from the Qatar Grand Prix. Now though, end of lap three. This is Biastri all over the back of us. We have a big tan slapper. Biastri's up the inside of us. We keep it pinned around the outside. Now it's a drag race to the first corner. Neither of us has DRS. I think Biastri might just do though. And look at Gasly now. Gasly's on an unbelievable slipstream. Round the outside, he's in between us. The Gasly briefly in the lead as we force him wide. Piastri overtakes and Max now gets past Gasly. P2 
the actual briefly knocking out the lead did get into the lead couldn't stay there and now he's fourth and now Biastri all over the back of us still as the train it gets ever bigger behind us you can see there and now this lap four Biastri is coming out so again this time he's in the lead Max now all over the back of us trying to find a way fast we try and go to the outside of Biastri Biastri though this time has us covered and is into the lead of the Grand Prix and also he pulled away you can see the gap at the end of the lap over a second and now Max is on the inside and we make contact with Verstappen and open the floodgates for Lewis Hamilton to just cruise through both of us run wide Lewis Hamilton is thanking very much and is now up into P2 and there's nothing more we can do about that we're so far back Max so gets past Gasly stays ahead of Gasly now though we've ruined the one two we need to really take Lewis Hamilton but I don't think we have the pace because we are keep looking in our mirrors just down the inside we've nearly made contact once again with Max Verstappen there now round the final corner this is lap six and look at it launch Max has gone off the final corner he is through now we're in his slipstream, the tyre tracks, we're going to try and break later and squeeze our car up the inside at time one catch the double world champion napping in this career mode and now Max is coming back us up the inside into that corner Piastri kept trying it, he's going to keep it to stick and neither can Max but the top two got away Piastri was cruising but Lewis Hamilton round the outside of our teammate Oscar Piastri Hamilton takes the lead of the Grand Prix we get overtaken by Max Verstappen Verstappen has gone and now look who we're battling it's George Russell our championship rival the one driver I did not want to see in my mirrors today the fact we're going backwards is not helping us can we though like, stick with Max the answer very much no lap 10 George over the back of us tries to go to the inside to the outside now going into the final corner we're gonna keep up the inside we're gonna force him might be very aggressive Fernando Alonso goes through George really has to anchor up at the final corner and now he's lost out to Gasly as well Gasly really just somehow sticking in the fight and picking up any kind of scraps he can in this race being very good from so far for him as now this is Fernando Alonso going to the inside we're going to really squeeze him to the inside almost into the pit exit now pull back over try and hold around the outside the tyres are pretty much screaming at this point but near the pit stops and keep Alonso behind and now we are going to peel off and into the pits as those behind us stay out as we lock up and nearly go into the middle that's the pit entry but now that it's time for our one and only stop of the race going on to the mediums hopefully we can use the extra tyre advantage to pull away from those behind us a fairly good start at 2.7 not quite the McLaren 1.8 from real life in guitar but now hopefully we can get the hammer down and get away the reason why and we were losing so much time in the final sector at that kind of quadruple right hander where I think they were having all the tyre issues in real life we just couldn't nail that and was losing literally everything we gained from the rest of the lap at that one corner that's why we were just defenceless down the pit straight as we were behind Albon, Albon peels and behind Sergeant Sergeant peels off into the pits now as we are coming down the pit straight there's Gasly, there is Fernando Alonso the gap just we just beat out Fernando Alonso there that was close with that one lap tyre advantage 
there's definitely years of actually closed a bit it seems on Max Verstappen as well but we still can't look forward because this is Fernando Alonso he's past us now into turn one we're gonna break later try and go to the inside now maybe trying to switch back but we're too far back and we've actually closed quite rapidly now on Max Verstappen is now Fernando Alonso going for it up the inside we're just holding the popcorn trying to find a way through as now we go round the outside Fernando Alonso get that place back and now down the inside of Max Verstappen and get back up into the podium places now Verstappen and Alonso still side by side has Verstappen lost two positions on this lap? yes he has Fernando Alonso up to P4 as now Max coming into pressure from Gasly we are also coming into pressure from Fernando Alonso we run wide we run a bit wide in the final corner now Fernando Alonso can he get another podium he won this race last season he's getting closer and closer and down the inside Alonso is through and that may be the final nail in the coffin in terms of this battle Leclerc's got in on the act behind and Alonso is gone then and now we're once again looking in our mirrors it's down the inside and past us goes Charles Leclerc and behind us still is Gasly and George Russell but the Ferrari free fed comfortably there and all over the back of them they're trying to find a way back past and we're gonna wait for it send it in very squeeze our car at the inside job done on the Ferrari and this time for once down the pitch straight we can breathe we pulled a gap out as Gasly now up the inside of Charles Leclerc Leclerc tries to hold it around the outside and he does Gasly has to back out of it Leclerc got back though down the road after us and now George is up the inside of Gasly to the inside now Gasly loses out to the Mercedes this is Leclerc coming back at us now lap 25 we've just spent this entire race staring in our mirrors we do the cut back though on Charles Leclerc now we're going to stay around the outside of turn turn 2 just about keep the car in between the right lines and get past again but Leclerc back to the inside of that corner he can't get the job done though it has to stay behind at the end of the next lap, no, lap 26. Leclerc has got us at the final corner. We're going to swap him the dummy. Try and get the exit. We're now side by side as we head down the straight. We're now in the tire tracks of Charles Leclerc. We're going to go to the outside and once again we're going to keep it pinned round the outside. Leclerc has us covered. We now try and do the old switch around. We do. We swap him the dummy. And we'll re overtake Max Verstappen, um, re overtake Charles Leclerc for P4. But back down the inside goes Leclerc further up the road. Oscar Piastri has been spending the entire race staring at the Mercedes gearbox since I wanted to the lead. He's getting closer and closer. And Lewis Hamilton locks up into turn one. And Oscar Piastri re takes the lead of the Qatar Grand Prix he forces the seven time world champion into a mistake at the first corner as Leclerc and Matt gets past us we nearly made contact with George not once but twice as we're all over the place to try and keep those behind we nearly go into the side of George Russell twice there we somehow rearrange the Ferrari he's had a little wobble and now might come under pressure from the Alpine as we manage to pull away going on to the final lap then of what has been an incredible Grand Prix George and Leclerc side by side through the first corner George gets the job done Leclerc keeps his foot in to the inside of turn two and Leclerc now gets his nose ahead and it's fully ahead as George Russell has to back out of that one but no such issues for this man he won the sprint and he's gonna round the final corner and 
Oscar Piastri in one of his first races for the team. He's going to win the Grand Prix, but he's backing off and Lewis is going to catch him. Lewis Hamilton nearly catches Piastri. Piastri's going to win the Grand Prix, but he's backing off and Lewis Hamilton nearly catches him. 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 Hard-fought win today, then, after a very difficult race. Anthony Davidson, what helped them deliver this result, do you think? I think a large part of the result comes down to temperament. They were able to keep their heads when everyone around them was losing theirs, and that's allowed them to get the best out of the car, to maximise the strategy, and to stay out of trouble. The faces of our top three look so incredibly happy as they make their way up to the podium. A much-deserved victory and a brilliant performance from them all. So that's been your Qatar Grand Prix, what a race, so much action in the desert. One then by Oscar Piastri, the first win in Formula 1, his first win for the team since coming in back in Spa a couple of races ago, doing a lot better than Michael Schumacher ever did. Great battle with him, hard but fair over the course of this entire weekend. Lewis Hamilton could have won it, made a rare mistake and has paid the price and comes home P2. Alonso then on the final Final step. We come home fourth, just ahead of our championship rival George Russell. At least we're ahead of George. It could be a lot better, but we do actually pick up the fastest lap at the back. Though there was one retirement in Liam Lawson. Absolute poor weekend for him. Very disappointing. Retiring in both the sprint and the actual race itself, unfortunately for him. In terms of the championship, then the gap now 47 points we've cut the gap down by five over this weekend it's still a big mountain to climb with four races to go of course we're going to give it a go we're not giving up not till it's mathematically done we are 47 points behind now and with that win oscar piastri also including his points for mclaren moves up into p Five then, good for him, hopefully he can continue this form. Down at the back there's still four drivers, still yet to score. This is the Constructors then, the 1-2 in the sprint and the win for Piastri means that the gap isn't as big. We'll close a small amount on the Mercedes, that may be too far away but we'll see what happens. Aston Martin P3, McLaren P4, Red Bull P5, then Ferrari, Alpine, Williams, Alfa Romeo, two teams still yet to score in Alfa Tari and Haas. But that's been your Qatar Grand Prix action packed. Well done to our teammate Oscar Piastri on his first win in Formula 1 and the team. We go to Mexico next. I'll see you then. Goodbye.